In this video, we're going to go over the polynomial remainder theorem and the factor theorem. These two are very closely related. Uh, the remainder theorem basically says if a polynomial f of x, any polynomial, is divided by a linear divisor such as x minus a, you know, linear means this exponent here on the x is a 1, then the remainder is equal to f of a. Uh, basically, in more Eh, vernacular, it would be you have a polynomial, say x cubed plus x squared plus 6, and you divide it by something, um, you know, x minus 5, and you get a remainder. When you do that using synthetic division, then if you had plugged in uh, the opposite of a here, the positive a, you would have gotten the same remain, you would have gotten the same answer uh, for the f at a as you would in the remainder for the synthetic division. Another way of saying this would be if a polynomial p of x is divided by x minus r, then the remainder is a constant given by the function p at r. And then here the factor theorem. A polynomial f of x has a factor x minus a if and only if f of a equals 0. And in a certain way, you've been doing this since algebra 1. So let's do the factor theorem first. Okay, let's say we have a given function f of x, and we want to, and the function is x squared minus 2x minus 3. Uh, there are three things we're going to do here. A, we're going to determine whether x minus 3 is a factor of f of x, and we're going to do this by factoring. Then, B, we're going to use synthetic division and their factor theorem to show that x minus 3 is a factor of f of x. I chose something very simple here so that you can under understand the mechanics behind what's going on. Uh, and then part C, does f of 3 equal 0? Okay, so for some solutions here. Okay. For part A, um, let's take x squared minus 2x minus 3 and factor it out. When we factor out, we get x plus 1 times the quantity x minus 3. Now, if you're not sure of your factoring, you can always FOIL it to get back to the original equation. x squared, the outer is minus 3x, the inner is x, and the last is minus 3. We combine these two terms, we get a minus 2x. So yes, x minus 3 is a factor of f of x. Now, for question B, let's see if we can get this on here. Well, part B, it said use synthetic division and the factors theorem to show x, of, x minus 3 is a factor of f of x. So for synthetic division, we might look at a possible factor, say what makes this 0, the opposite value of this, well, it should be positive 3. So we put 3 in our half corner. We bring down the coefficients of the polynomial, which are 1, negative 2, and negative 3. And then we do synthetic division. So we bring this 1 straight down. Then we go 3 times 1 is 3. So we put a 3 here. Negative 2 plus 3 is 1. Well, 3 times 1 is 3. And then negative 3 plus 3 is 0. Because the remainder is 0 for the synthetic division, that's right here. This is the remainder we know that x minus 3 is a factor of f of x. Now getting a little bit ahead of ourselves here, if we apply the remainder theorem, we know that 3 is a 0, or a solution, or a root of f of x. So for part c, does f of 3 equal 0? Well, another way to do this is we take our function, and wherever we see the x, we're going to put a 3 in. So 3 squared minus 2 times 3 minus 3, well, that equals, let's see, 3 squared is 9. 2 times 3 is 6 with a negative sign out front. And then there's the 3. We combine those to get 0. Therefore, f of 3 equals 0. So here is how to apply the factor theorem to a polynomial. 
We just want to find out if this is a factor. We're not asked for zeros, roots, or solutions, just factors. Okay. Now, looking at the remainder theorem, we're going to be more interested in, in this case, um, solutions. Okay, use synthetic division and the remainder theorem to find f of 3. Oh, and here's our polynomial. Given f of x is x cubed minus 9x squared plus 27x minus 28. Okay, use synthetic division and the remainder theorem to find this function at 3. Uh, and then part B would be, uh, is x minus 3 a factor of f of x? Well, uh, in another video I went over synthetic division, and this is one of the problems that we did. x cubed minus 9x squared, indeed it's the same polynomial, divided by uh, x minus 3. So doing the synthetic division made the half square, put the 3 in, here are the coefficients of this polynomial. We went through the synthetic division and we got, for uh, over here, we got the remainder of negative 1. So if we just wanted to write the depressed polynomial, we'd go x squared minus 6x minus 9 with remainder of negative 1. However, when we're dealing with the remainder theorem, this is very important because what this is telling us is that uh, this is telling us that this function at 3 equals negative 1. So you could take your calculator out and you could push, um, you could put this quad, not quadratic, you could put this polynomial in in your y equals button. You could graph it and every time it crosses the x-axis that's a zero or a solution or a root. Uh, you would also find if you plugged in this particular equation in your calculator and you went to your table, okay, table of values, and looked at 3, for 3 you would have y equals negative 1. So another question here, is x minus 3 a factor of f of x? Well, based on what we have done here, where we plugged in positive 3, we got negative 1, we can say x minus 3 is not a factor of f of x. In order for this to be a factor, the remainder has to be zero, as for the tha factor theorem. I hope you found this to be a good introduction to the remainder theorem and the factor theorem. Thanks for watching.